Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at the Velleman Voice Changer Kit which you can get from Amazon for about £13 and I'll leave a link to it down below. You will need a soldering iron, solder, a 9 volt battery and a loudspeaker. There is an alternative which I'll tell you about later. Anyway, let's open the packet and see what you get inside. So the purpose of these little kits is basically just to improve your soldering skills, build a fun little circuit. It doesn't really educate you that much, but you could sort of delve a little bit deeper if you wanted to. So anyway, there's a card inside which contains the instructions. Also inside that is the PCB that you'll solder all the electronic components onto. We've also got the little integrated circuits or ICs and also the nine volt battery connector. And finally, a bag of components, capacitors, resistors, a diode. Anyway, so here's a time lapse of me soldering the resistors onto the PCB. So resistors don't have a polarity, you can put them any way round you want, cut off the legs once you've soldered them in, and the board actually tells you exactly where they should go. Now I've soldered on the Zener diode. And next we're putting the switches at the bottom, which is how we're going to control the different modes on this voice changer. So this is actually an intermediate kit. You are going to have to have a little bit of soldering knowledge to be able to do this as some of the solder points are quite close together. If this is your first time soldering, maybe um, get a simpler kit to practice on first because there is a little bit of an art to it. Now I've soldered on the sockets for the ICs as you can see here. In fact, I... Um, got a really rubbish soldering iron and was using lead free solder for a while and I had some real problems even though I've been soldering for quite some time and as soon as I got the right soldering iron and the right solder everything just kind of fit into place and it was a lot easier. And now I've soldered on the LEDs which is going to tell you when the circuit board is activated and also there's a light uh, which flickers when the microphone is activated. Now I put the potentiometer on, so this is basically a variable resistor, a variable switch that allows you to control the sensitivity of the microphone. Now I'm soldering on the capacitors, which I think are on the sort of output side, the amplification side of this circuit board. Now I'm soldering on the pin terminals that I use to link the board to the 9 volt power supply and also to your loudspeaker. Next, it's the microphone, which is obviously what you're going to speak into to get the voice changer to turn you into a sort of robot. Next up are the electrolytic capacitors, and these have a polarity, so you do have to put the short leg where it says the negative terminal on the PCB, and you'll be familiar with these if you've ever looked at a computer mainboard. Now we're soldering on the volume switch, which is how you control the output volume of this voice changer. And finally, we have to place the ICs in their respective um, sockets on the PCB. There are a few last steps, though. Now we're going to solder on the 9 volt battery uh, connector wires to the terminals on the PCB, as you can see here. And then at this point, I realized that actually you need to have a loudspeaker uh, to use this. And I kind of I was a little bit disappointed that the kit didn't include one, but thankfully, I had a little loudspeaker from a mobile phone, so I attached that to the PCB and then I turned it on, whacked up the volume, tapped on the microphone and it all went a bit wrong. It stopped working and I was able to diagnose that actually I had blown up the operational amplifier, which is the thing that takes the output from whatever it is in this circuit that changes your voice into a, into a robot sounding voice and then amplifies it to put it through the speaker. So I ordered a few more off eBay and they were only two pounds for five. I swapped it over and I was a bit more careful with the microphone sensitivity. I turned it um, all the way to very sensitive and turned the volume right down and lo and behold, it worked. But I then decided that actually the loudspeaker that I'd used was a bit too small. So then I went to Poundland, the American equivalent of a dollar store, I guess. And I bought a three and a half mil jack to three and a half mil jack cable, cut it in half, used my multimeter to work out uh, which wires coming out of the cable were ground and which were the left and right. I then tied the left and right wires together and then I attached the left and right to the positive terminal on the PCB and the ground to the negative terminal um, and used that line out cable to uh, 
attach it to a portable speaker that I have and it works perfectly. So now we can take a look at this voice changer. So this is what the voice changer, you can probably hear it in the background actually, this is what it does when you first turn it on. I am a robot, this is my robot voice. Exterminate, exterminate. So that sounds pretty good, as I think you'll agree. Um, an interesting thing is it seems to remove the pitch from your voice. So have a listen to this. Hello, this is a test. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. Apologies for my singing there, but you can hear that however it comes out of the voice changer, it's a completely different pitch to wherever I speak into the microphone. So there's a couple of buttons on this that we can play around with, a couple of settings. So let's, first of all, I'm going to press a button that says vibrato and we'll see what that does. Well, that's interesting. When you press the buttons on it, it makes a really funny sound. Have a listen to this. It's quite a good sound effect, isn't it? Right, let's have a listen to the vibrato setting. Hello, everybody. This is a test. Wow, my voice is very vibrato isn't it? Well, that was pretty good. So I'll press that again, I think, to turn that off. There's also a pitch button, so we're going to put the pitch up. Hello? 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 Things have gone wrong. Oh, dear. Cheese on! Cheese on Patreon! Cheese on Patreon! I realise I am actually changing the pitch of my voice, aren't I, uh, as well. But anyway, that sounds really, really cool. I quite like that. Let's see how deep it'll go. Testing. We are anonymous. You are in trouble for doing all naughty things with war and that. Ooh. Yep, that's pretty threatening, isn't it? Oh, so we like that. And then finally, there's a robot button, basically a reset button, and it goes back to the original uh, robot sound. So all in all, this voice changer was pretty good fun to put together. It was quite quick. It took me about an hour. For £12, uh, I think this represents excellent value for money, a really nice gift. So I highly recommend this, and I'll leave a link to it down below. I've got another one of these Velleman kits, a more complicated one that's um, really going to be quite interesting. Do subscribe if you like these sorts of videos and I shall see you next time for another one.